Hey guys, we're continuing our little three-part mini-series on compression and string players. So in part one, we talked about what is compression, what are all those settings for, what's threshold and ratio, and all, how does all that work, right? In part two, we talked about how would you actually do this compression? Would you use a pedal? Or is there an engineer got this thing? When would I use it? How much is too much? We talked about that in part two. In part three, we're gonna address a common misconception that is, don't electric violins have built-in compression? That's a thing that I had actually heard for a long time too as, as an electric violinist. And you know, I don't, I don't know if this thing's got compression built in or not. Well, if you're not sure, why don't we like figure it out? So what I did is I plugged in and said, I've got an acoustic electric violin. I'm gonna have a mic in front of it and I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna record both signals and then we'll measure what's the quietest quiet and the loudest loud. And we can see if it's the same for the audio in the room and the electronic signal. All right, so let's, let's take a look. We're gonna use a loudness meter. You can see that I've got two tracks here, one over the other. The top one is the microphone. The bottom one is the pickup input. Those are both labeled. And then on the left-hand side, you'll see I've got this loudness meter or a luffs meter. That's for the microphone. The one on the right is for the pickup. So the, the little quiet one, I was like minus 36 on the mic, minus 37 on the pickup. And then during the loud section, we measured minus 21 on the mic and minus 23 on the pickup. It turns out the difference between those two is 14.4 for the mic and 14.5 for the pickup. So a tenth of a dB, my goodness. It's probably, it's the measuring is, is the difference there. So what, they have the same dynamic range. I know my electric violin has compression. I have heard it with my ears. I'm 100% certain that there is compression happening with my electric violin. I can dig in and it doesn't get any louder. It's the violin, it's gotta be the violin, right? No. We have just proven that electric violins themselves do not compress audio. They don't. If you play twice as loud, it's going to be twice as loud in a mic and it's going to be twice as loud through the pickup. So if it is compressing or you know you're hearing it in your ears, what's going on? 100% what you're having is a gain staging issue. If the input, that the thing coming out of the violin, we know that's not compressed. What's going into your rig is not compressed. We just proved that. But you know what is coming out of my rig is compressed. We have a gain staging problem. Every circuit has an expected range. And if your signal is too weak inside that expected range, you're not gonna be able to hear it, right? That circuit is just, there's just barely, it's, you've got a little bit of noise floor in there and my signal is just barely above that noise floor. That's a lot of times you hear that, that hiss that's in there with your signal. It's because you've got a gain staging issue somewhere. Somewhere we don't have enough gain. A circuit is expecting more volume than it's getting. If your signal is too strong, it's gonna clip. Or a lot of times that manifests itself as distortion. So we got to make sure that we're in that expected range for a, uh, for a circuit. And you can see in this uh, diagram here, if I've got my original signal on the top and I'm, I'm sort of quiet, right? I'm doing real good, but then I decide to start playing louder. If that, that see those uh, horizontal lines there are the expected range that that circuit has. If I'm exceeding that range, it's going to clip in one of two ways. It can clip soft clipping, which means you're not going to hear it as distortion. Or it could be hard clipping, which means you are going to hear it as distortion. So you're like, I'm pretty sure it's not clipping because I'm not hearing any distortion. Not every circuit treats these things the same way. It's possible that you are clipping somewhere inside your, your rig, but you're not hearing it. So if you think that your rig is compressing somewhere. You thought it was your violin, it's definitely not your violin, we've determined that. Now you've gotta go down through your signal path, look at all the pedals that you're plugging into, all the preamps you're plugging into, and find out where you're clipping. Start turning things down until that dynamic range opens back up again. 
it could be a bit of a long path, but you're, you're eventually going to find where in your signal chain something is clipping. It is 100%. It is not the instrument. So if you think something's clipping or you think something is compressing, it probably is, but it's not the instrument. You're going to have to go through and chase your signal path to find out where that is. So be sure to uh, like and subscribe to our channel. Check out a couple other videos that we got going on, and we will see you next time.